In an interview with Yahoo, children's horror author R. L. Stein hinted at the possibility of more period-based Fear Street movies in the works at Netflix. Following the interview, on July 18, Bloody Disgusting cryptically confirmed the return to the cursed town of Shadyside, teasing that the film, or films, may not be too far off in the future. In 2021, Netflix launched a three-part series of feature-length films titled Fear Street, all taking place over a span of three centuries. The series began, and ended, in 1994, and were based off of Stein's best-selling Yahara book series of the same name. Launching on July 2, Netflix released a segment of the trilogy each Friday for three weeks, beginning with Fear Street, Part 1, 1994, and working its way back in time as the mysteries of an ancient curse are slowly revealed. Each film took place in a different year and chipped away at the curse that plagued the town of Shadyside, causing its residents to experience poverty, discourse within families, and oftentimes miserable deaths. The curse was only made worse by the stark contrast of the neighboring town of Sunnyvale, which enjoyed a flourishing economy and a wealth of happiness. The two towns found themselves in a lasting rivalry with one another in a feud no one could recall the origins of. Collider video of the date in his interview, Stein brought up rumors that a reboot to the trilogy may be in the works, noting the success of all three films which are all rated certifiably fresh with Rotten Tomatoes, the highest being Part 3, 1666 with 90%. In response to Stein's statement, Bloody Disgusting confirmed these rumors by saying, these rumors are in fact true and that Netflix is very deep into development. While there is no official word on just how deep into development Netflix is, nor whether this means fans will be getting another entire trilogy, the confirmation is exciting and something to look forward to for our shady siders. Despite being based off of Stein's late 80s series, the Fear Street films each received an R rating and held nothing back as far as teen slashers go. The first took place in the 90s and recalled classic horror films like Scream as an influence to the aesthetics, focusing on the strained relationship of Dina Johnson, Kiana Madeira, and her girlfriend, and new Sunnyvale resident, Samantha Frazier, Olivia Scott Welch. After an incident with an ancient evil, Samantha now has a psychic connection to the witch supposedly responsible for Shadyside's curse, Sarah Fierre, Elizabeth Scopel, and the spirits will now apparently stop at nothing to take Samantha's life, including resurrecting past victims. Part 2, 1978 digs deeper into the lore of the curse, providing Dina and Sam with answers from the sole survivor of a summer camp massacre. The second part features Stranger Things star Sadie Sink as Ziggy Berman, who will become key in unlocking the shady side mystery, while part 3, 1666 takes the girls back to the origins of the Fear curse, and the answers are much darker than they expected to uncover. The third installment ended with Dina confronting the real horrors of the shady side curse, seemingly putting an end to the town's suffering. However, in a mid-credits scene, a brook, a pivotal element to the series, is seen being apprehended from a crime scene by a mysterious set of hands, thus leaving the fates of Shadyside and Sunnyvale open to evil.
the Fear Street series also featured Benjamin Flores Jr. Julia Ewald, Ma Yehawk, Ashley Zuckerman, Fred Heckinger, Matthews Uck, Jordan Dina Tale, Emily Rudd, Jillian Jacobs, McCabe Sly, Brandon Spink, Ryan Simpkins and more. Directed by filmmaker and screenwriter Lee Yaniak, Honeymoon, each segment was shot back to back in the spring of 2019 before premiering in July 2021. This means that if the reboot is deep into filming now, hopefully we can expect them by 2024 if not sooner. All three films of the Fear Street trilogy area available to stream on Netflix. Check out Collider's interview with Olivia Scott Welch to see who she thinks may be the mid-credits culprit.